Hey y'all, it's Joni Dunn, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have got a bop or flop review and today's review is going to be on the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation. So I've already tried the Pretty Fresh line that was out with the Tinted Moisturizer and we saw how that worked out on two separate occasions. So I am back again trusting ColourPop and their pretty fresh line. Uh, the other products in the line that I actually really did enjoy were the um, Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer as well as the Hyaluronic Acid um, Setting Mist. So these are these two I've been using. Probably I use the primer a lot more than the setting mist. Uh, the primer just feels like a really nice lightweight kind of like moisturizer but it does a really good job of prepping your skin before you put on your makeup. Um, if you guys would like to see the review that I did, or well, the two videos I did about the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer, I will leave an eye above with both of those. So we're back. They also added to the line a concealer, which I did pick up one of the concealers, but I have not tried it out. I picked it up and I have it and I just haven't used it. I was thinking about using it in today's video, but... I kind of want to focus on one product at a time. So we're focusing on the foundation today. So the foundation comes in 42 shades. Um, it's infused with hyaluronic acid for hydration. It's vegan, medium to buildable coverage with a natural finish. It's dermatologist tested, oil free, alcohol free, and fragrance free. It's ideal for all skin types. Um, and it has coconut water, which is known to support hydration and skin softness. As I mentioned in Wednesday's video that I did see a picture, so that way of models wearing the foundation and that gave me an idea of what shade I am. So I picked out Dark 157W, which is just warm. The W is your own, your undertone, which is warm. So here's what the packaging looks like, and it's super cute. You get how much in this? You get 30 milliliters, which is 1.0 fluid ounces. For $16, that's actually not a bad deal. ColourPop is always super affordable, so I'm not mad at that. Um, you get a pump, which I think all foundations should come with a pump. There should be no foundations out at this point in time on the market without a pump. I have already used the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. That's one of my favorite foundations. I am in the shade um, Dark 175. Um, I actually just funny enough bought another bottle of that. I hadn't used it in a while because I was like using other foundations. So um, I just bought another bottle of that and I'm hoping to do a full face of ColourPop because at this point I do have every item, at least one of each category of ColourPop's items from their website to actually create a full face from brows, lashes, lips, full, all of it. So um, I hope, I hope, because I mentioned in Wednesday's video that I saw this like spread out in a swatch and I was like that looks far darker than me the model looked closer to me and then I just that's the bad part about buying anything online I bought mine during the Ulta preview so instead of paying $16 I actually paid 12 and change because I had a $3.50 coupon I believe because of the preview at Ulta um, there are only about 29 shades I believe the preview launched on either the 28th or the 5th fifth because it was on a Sunday I think it might have been the fifth so I got mine during the preview because I was like I want to get it as soon as possible so I could talk to you guys about it and today is the today is Thursday the 9th and today is the official launch on ColourPop's website so if this doesn't work for me I could just go to ColourPop's website and just buy another one and do an update video about the shade if it doesn't work and whatnot so yeah let's all stop all this long talking and let's just get right into using it um to prime my face today I use two primers I use the pretty fresh pretty fresh hydrating primer as well as the elf poreless putty primer so I've got my Japanese sponge here so I'm just going to put this all over the face blend it out and see so I'm not going to conceal I I, I got like a ridiculous breakout that happened over here and one one lone bump that's like I'm angry about you attempting to get rid of us so I've got a little bit of texture going on in here I've got a lot of scarring going on in here 
Um, the other side isn't so bad. A lot of the scarring over here has just gone away. For whatever reason, the past two months, every time I break out, I only break out on this side of my face. I've been washing my pillowcases nonstop. I think this is just my stress side. The maybe. Maybe this is just the side of my face I hold all my stress. I don't know. But like, I'm not concealing. I'm not color correcting because it said it's medium and buildable. So I want to test that theory to see if this is something that I can build. Or is this going to be like the tinted moisturizer just in foundation form that's for people who have absolutely perfect skin and no blemishes? I was super triggered from that moisturizer. Oh my gosh. This looks far lighter here. This looks so much lighter here than it does online. So much lighter. foundation is on um i'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what my face looks like okay like i said before this texture scarring this demons it um okay so it didn't cover up a lot of my scarring only just a little bit but i can still see it peeking through um probably and i did add about like two layers and that's as much as i could build it up to here's the other side of my face my scarring still peeking through but it's laid really nicely on my skin as you can see i have a bit of a sheen and that's just from the foundation not drying down to like a matte finish this is or like a demi matte this is really really is like a just natural skin like finish which i do like i was a little iffy about the shade when i first put it on because it looked too light but now i think it looks better when i look in the mirror here it looks like a really good match between like my like my face my shoulders and my chest so i may have just got it right on the first try maybe it needed to warm up on my face and like oxidize a little bit because now looking at it on camera i look more uniform yeah i think yeah it's better than when i first put it on so i think this just needed to oxidize a little but when i first like dropped it on my face i was like why does this look so light and it looks far lighter in comparison with like the model who was wearing it and the swatch online like i'm gonna put a picture here of like the swatch online yeah the swatch online looks much darker but maybe that was after they took the picture after it oxidized so which would be good because then that shows you what the true color is going to be and not just the color that when you know you first swipe it on your face so that's the only bad thing that's the only thing i don't like about ColourPop sometimes is some of their swatches are inconsistent some sometimes the how it looks on the model versus when you get it in the bottle and at home and you put it on your face is a little inconsistent but i kind of feel like that just 
is what it is like maybe that can't be helped I'm not sure but yeah so I'm going to um, finish up the rest of my face I'm using my regular everyday products that I always use all the time that I know are not going to affect anything that's going on my face because I use them all the time um, ABH banana powder for um, my under eyes Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, um, Colourpop No Filter Press Powder, Colourpop brown Bronzer, uh, I'm going to use the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Setting Mist as my, um, to set my whole face, my chill spray in between my powder products, so yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, and we're back. Face is done. Like I said before, I used all my usual products that I normally would use on my face. And so far, looking good. I'll show you guys a close up here. Yeah, uh, with, the, with the exception, of this zit here that's like I'm trying to fight um my skin looks really good I am noticing I look a little red a little orange but I have a funny feeling that's because I chose 157 warm and for some reason brands seem to think the only undertone in warm that warm should represent is red and orange and I don't know why because yellow and yellow golden are considered warm undertones so yeah i'm going to wear test it so i'm gonna have it on for a few hours to see what it holds up like so far i've had the phone had the foundation on for about an hour i finished my makeup at at least my base makeup at 5 30 so it is currently 6 40 so we'll see how well this holds up I think I'll probably check in again like around 1 a.m. yeah probably like 12 midnight or like 1 a.m. probably around then um, right now I am going to go to Starbucks because it's two for one today and I was gonna go to the comic book store so I could at least be like out and about but um, they close at seven and I'm not gonna make that I'm not gonna make it there in time unfortunately so I was outside and it is hot outside what's today's ridiculous it's 88 outside it's it's 88 outside it was a high of 91 today it's hot so went outside I took some pictures my face didn't feel like it was melting off because this is a foundation that is more like skin like and sometimes those tend to slip around a little bit but no it, it looks good I when my mom came home I asked her what she thought and she said that it looked like just really skin like she did say it looked a little red but not to where it's like too bad so it's not a bad match between my face and my chest um it's at least on camera in person it really does look like a really decent match to my face chest and of course my shoulders so that is a plus but like I said before I'm gonna wear test it so I'll be back in a few hours and let you guys know how it holds up and give you all my final thoughts just got back from Starbucks so I want to kind of wanted to jump on and show you guys what my face is looking like it's been almost two hours since I first did my first put on my base makeup I'm looking very very sheen very shiny um but it's not in a like ooh like she's super oily way it's just in kind of like a natural kind of sheen a natural kind of shine type of way so don't mind that I don't I don't mind that at all um 
it looks good like it just looks like I'm dewy like my face is just dewy so so far so good I've got some creasing around my mouth which I assumed is gonna was gonna happen plus a lot of foundations just do that in general um what I thought was interesting about this foundation is how it sat on top of this zit if anybody knows like if you ever had one of these where like it's kind of like it's like a white head but not a white head so it's a little the tip of it is a little light but it's definitely not like a white head and ready to pop and it's managed like usually like it's a little dried out but the foundation has sat on top of it in a way to make it look like it just really easily sat on top of it which I'm actually very surprised about because normally um, foundations would kind of cling to that and it would just not stick to it or it'd break up over it so hmm I see you Colourpop I see you I am looking a little more red as the day goes on as I wear this but not bad doable definitely doable so I'll be back in a few hours with another check-in okay I'm back it is 147 I've had this on for about since 530 so about eight hours and change or so um as y'all can see it is I I look very oily <laughs> I look so oily I'm gonna include around here somewhere a video that I just took on my phone with my front camera on snapchat wow 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 and wow but I'm not wow I can like literally touch my nose and see the oil can y'all see that wet <laughs> okay so some pros this foundation is lightweight it's got a very nice finish it does oxidize um when I first put it on it looked really too light and then about a few minutes later of just kind of sitting it just melted down into my skin and was just a great match um it's breathable it is medium coverage so it's true to that which is fine so if you're a medium coverage kind of gal kind of mans i think you'll like it in that aspect i think that for the price for $16 it's actually a really good buy and especially considering the other foundations on the market Colourpop always comes through with the affordable products so that's always a win-win in that aspect for the cons for the cons I typically do not get oily and eight hours later look at my face like if I don't have any makeup on I'm not oily this is probably the oiliest I've been since I reviewed the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation that was like one of that's one of the oiliest I've ever been and it was so bad that we were leaving D&D &D and my boyfriend turns to me and goes yeah your makeup's looking less skin like gooped so I still look skin like when I look in the mirror I still my makeup still looks very skin like but I'm just really oily really oily and the oil is secreting farther than it normally would like there's so much oil in this t-zone area and it's really just extending up my forehead and down through here yeah but it doesn't feel like i don't feel my makeup on my face so that's another tick for the pro um it says it's for any skin type but I feel like if you have oily skin, you're going to have to touch up. Now this is without touch ups, and like I said, I have normal skin. So if this is what I look like after eight hours of normal skin, I can only imagine what somebody with oily skin is gonna look like after eight hours. So definitely if you are oily skin and you do wanna buy it because it is a lightweight foundation, it's very moisturizing and it feels good, definitely bring some blotting powder, powder some blotting powder or some blotting sheets because you're gonna need it, especially if you're trying to be in this for longer than six hours. When I hit the spout, like the hour and change mark, I was still looking very dewy, you know, still very skin-like, really good. When I hit the point of about like 10.30 something, I'll include this video around here, I still looked good. I was in my bedroom, so that's just my normal lamp light, and it still looked really good. When I went into the bathroom and I looked in the mirror, still, 
you know, not too oily and, you know, at the, that was at 1030 something. So it's like anywhere between five to six hours, I think is a sweet spot, sweet spot. Once you pass that, you're getting into territory where you look like you're frying bacon. You got bacon grease on your face. That's where that becomes a little, yeah. So overall, I like this foundation a lot. Now that I know it is not something I should be in for eight hours or more, I know how to move forward with it. And in that sense, it's a bop for me. I really like it. Um, I definitely think for at least if you have normal or dry skin, dry skin people, you're gonna love this. I'm not gonna lie. All the dry skin baddies out there, you're going to love this because it's going to keep your face hydrated without looking oily because your skin's already dry. For people who have oily skin, you're gonna like it, but you're gonna have to touch up. And if you're not looking to touch up, then this is a no for you. Unfortunate, but it is kind of one of those things. It is a bop for me. I like it. I'm gonna continue to wear it. I think I'm going to switch up primers with it though. Today I wore this foundation with the Pretty Fresh primer as well as the e.l.f. primer putty, the Poreless primer putty. I think I'll go with a primer that's more mattifying underneath and see if that helps that helps fix the issue of being oily eight hours later. But typically I'm not in my foundation for eight hours. I only do this for wear tests or if like, for whatever reason, I'm out for a long period of time. Normally I'm, the f three, four hour mark is when I take my foundation off because I'm home and I don't need to be out no more. But yeah, I, it's a bop, I like it. If you would like to go try it out, I will leave a link in the description box to the Ulta link as well as the ColourPop link. Like I said before, earlier in the video, it, it retails for $16 and it has 42 shades. But anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, I am uploading every Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesday at 7 p.e.s.t. and Saturday at 3.30 p.e.s.t. Hit the bell down below so that way you can always be notified whenever I upload and then you won't have to remember. It'll just tell you. It'll take all the guesswork. Did she upload today or did she not upload today? Boom, notification lets you know. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.